inspired. Good videos. Okay, so next. Uh, so you have this yellow and green cord. Uh, it's the okay. in and out of the feedback eliminator. What the feedback eliminator does is when a squelch comes through the microphones from the speaker, uh, as like a cycle, um, comes through, the feedback eliminator, what it's supposed to do is supposed to cut that sound out and eliminate it, feedback eliminator, and any other feedback that comes through. Um, so what, we, what this part step is, is making sure you plug the in and out into the right ports. So we got here the out and the input. So if you ever have a plugin that you don't know where it goes into, you want to go to, you can either go to outputs here, or you can select these mix buttons and see here how it's got a name. You wanna find, at least for this one what we're doing, is feedback send. Where are you? There you are. Mix one. So now they're on mix one. You then want to go to outputs, scroll down, and we see it's output one. So output one is shown over here. So then what we do is we take feedback send or the receiver end of the feedback limiter and plug it into output number one underneath um, trainer one plug-in. So that one's plugged in there and then the feedback return we have labeled and so that is slot 15. So then we plug that into input on soundboard slot number 15. And there you go. That is how you plug in Feedback Eliminator. Then what you want to do after doing that and getting microphones set up is over here at the Feedback Eliminator, you've got the dynamic, because on the bottom, the set Feedback Eliminator set signals are on the top in red. So what you want to do is you want to reset the red. And how we do that is you plug in a cheek mic into trainer one, then have someone go up on the stage and either set it on stage or put it on their body, on, around their ear, or on their like a lapel on their neck, depending on what that trainer one microphone will be. Um, once it's unmuted and on the soundboard, the soundboard is unmuted and the gate is turned off on trainer one. Then what you do is over here on the far left, you click and hold the set setup button. It's in the very far left top button. Click and hold that until it all goes away like that. And then what you do on the soundboard is then you take the trainer one and main and you go up all the way with the main and then you slowly go up trainer one until you start hearing the squelching and feedback coming to the speakers. And while you're doing that and hearing that, then on the feedback limiter, you'll, be, you'll see red dots start to count up from one and go up to 12. And once it hits 12, it'll blink like that and then turn all red across the board. And then once it's all turned red, then with the bottom row, you go and hit reset dynamics, which is the left silver button. And you push and hold that until that resets and then that will light up on its own during class.